children, I'm going to read you a story, so I hope you're all sitting down comfortably. It's about Tippy, and the story is called The Enchanted Gooseberries. So let us begin. Tippy was a little gnome who loved gooseberries. He would eat gooseberries for his breakfast, gooseberries for his dinner, and sometimes he would even have them for his tea as well. He really was very greedy. One day, as he was passing Dame Tab's cottage, he peered through the window, and there on the table stood a bowl of big fat gooseberries. <gasps> Tippy's eyes grew wide with wonder, and it wasn't long before that little gnome was creeping up to the window and peering in. Oh, how lovely those gooseberries looked! Tippy glanced round. There was nobody about. Surely Dame Tap wouldn't miss one or two. And stretching out his arm, he grasped a large handful and quickly dropped them into his pocket and scampered home as fast as his little legs would carry him. On reaching his small house, he emptied them into a dish and sat down to eat them. My, how good they tasted! He ate one, then another, then another, until in a very short time they had all completely disappeared and only the empty dish was left. Tippy got up from his chair and then he noticed something, something funny. Oh dear, how queer I feel! He looked down at himself and goodness, what a shock he got! Instead of his nice little jacket there, there was a horrible green one. He ran out into the garden and looked at himself in the pond. Sure enough, he had turned green all over with nasty little spikes sticking out of his body. Yes, that naughty little tippy had changed into a gooseberry. Slowly, he turned away and tears began to run down his gooseberry face and drip off the end of his little gooseberry chin. Oh, what a sorry gnome he was, and now how he wished he'd never taken Dame Tap's gooseberries. He started to cry, cry loudly, and all the other gnomes in the village popped their heads out of the windows, and when they saw Tippy standing there in the garden looking like a big fat gooseberry, well, they all began to chuckle. And soon the whole village was laughing at the poor little fellow. At the sight of all of his friends holding their sides and shaking with laughter at him, Tippy suddenly ran down the garden path, out of his garden, down the lane, until he reached Dame Tap's cottage. He banged on the door with his clenched fist, waiting at the doorstep, panting so hard that his little green jacket was nearly in danger of bursting. Dame Tap opened the door, and no sooner had she seen him, she knew exactly what had happened. Well, she said sternly, so you saw my enchanted gooseberries, did you, and decided to help yourself? Y y yes, said the forlorn little Tippy in a very small voice, but, but, but please forgive me, he stammered in between sobs. I promise not to, to, to take any more. I should think not, said Dame Tap, and you don't deserve any help. But Tippy looked so pleadingly at her that she went into her house and returned with two small yellow pills. Swallow these, she ordered. Tippy gratefully gulped them down, and a slow smile spread across his tear-stained face. How lovely! His jacket began to reappear again, and those nasty spikes left him. He was once more Tippy again, and not a gooseberry. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, Dame Tap, thank you. I won't take any more of your gooseberries, I promise, he said excitedly. I should think not, replied Dame Tap. But once she watched the little figure run back to his little house, she smiled to herself. She knew that he would never again touch things that were not his own. And to this day, Tippy will not eat gooseberries. Indeed, the poor little fellow turns quite pale at the mere sight of them.